but there's still plenty of summer left. And maybe you're looking for that special getaway, you know, far from the crowds and traffic and noise of the city. Well, ABC's Charlie Murphy has a suggestion. Charlie? Available weekends, high mountain hideaways, 20 to $30 a night, bathrooms just down the hill. There used to be 5,000 fire towers in America. Today, about 500 are still standing, mostly in the Northwest. Many are still in use as lookouts. Others can be rented by campers and backpackers. The amenities are a little limited, but the government gives you a view that can only be described as breathtaking. And getting up to one of these things can be a little breathtaking, too. Calling all radio amateurs. Calling all radio amateurs. Stuart McClellan and Bob Mansfield rented Deer Ridge Lookout for the weekend for a ham radio field day. I'll tell you, I'd swap this for the office in an instant, or at least for a summer. It would be well worth trying. This is Pam Onan's office. She's starting her eighth summer as a fire watcher on Lookout Mountain in Idaho's Panhandle National Forest. Her 14 by 14 tower is fairly luxurious compared to most. Propane stove, refrigerator and lights, but no running water. She's up here five days, off two. Her best friend, a ground squirrel. It's always been important for me to have solitary time, and I think you get to stages in your life where you realize what things are important to you, and then you have them. This was the first day on the job for Matt Duvall on Sundance Lookout. This whole mountain burned off in a big fire 25 years ago. Forests this summer are drier than at any time since. Ray Kresick has one of the most beautiful views in Spokane, his own backyard from a restored L4 model built in the 30s. As a 16-year-old, Ray spent a summer in a tower and never got over it. He's visited more than a 1,000 and written a book. He says he was never bored. Yeah, I think some of the greatest uh, uplifting moments can be watching the sun come up and watching the sun go down from a 9,000-foot mountaintop. Since most require a three to seven mile hike to get to them, they are only for the hardiest of souls. You know, only the lonely. Charles Murphy, ABC News, and the Idaho Panhandle National Forest. From the top of the world, we wish you the top of the evening. That's our report for tonight. I'm Judd Rose. For all of us here at ABC News, good night.